a sunlit world of what he believes to be reality. But there is, unseen by most, an underworld, a place that is just as real, but not as brightly lit. A dark side. This is it, Cat. The big one. I can feel it. You said that the last time. This time I mean it. I've been asking around. The woman's a recluse. Sitting around her big old house hoarding a family fortune. Jackpot. God, I'm so tired of cleaning up after rich people. We don't have much choice. Unless you can think of another way to make quick money. It's not quick, Manny. You know how long it'll take to clean a house this big? Well, you better work fast, then. That's easy for you to say. You don't have to do the cleaning. You just stick to the plan, right? Be nice, always smile, and get her to trust you. She won't see it coming. It's Catherine, Mrs. Galloway. I'm here about the cleaning job. It's a pleasure to meet- Take your shoes off and leave them on the porch, please. I can't have mud and dirt traipsed across my floors. (sighs) Ugh. And please, close the door behind you. I have to tell you, when I'm called to clean a house, it's usually disgusting. But this, this is spotless. Don't think that means less work. It must remain exactly that, spotless. I'm very diligent about maintaining a clean house, but after my unfortunate accident, I need some assistance. Your resume is lackluster, Catherine. But I chose you because you're not from around here. Getting local girls to come to the house is a challenge. Anyway, let's move into the parlor. this cold in here, Mrs. Galloway? Yes. It's an old house without central heating. And the first rule you must follow, the most important rule, is no fires. Especially in the fireplaces. In fact, stay away from the fireplaces altogether. I will continue to clean them since they are all on the first floor. You will handle the rest of the house. There are three floors, including a basement, two bedrooms, a bathroom, a pantry, a kitchen, an attic, and the parlor here. Each room must be spotless every single day. That means no dust, no dirt, no clutter. Now, about the cleaning supplies, I'm very particular. Hold on. Just wait a second. Yes, what's the problem? The problem is that this is way more work than you advertised. A three-story house and a basement. You also neglected to mention working without heat. I'm sorry, I think you should find someone else. What if I double your hourly rate? Thanks, but I don't think so. Wait! Catherine, please. It's a matter of life and death. A matter of life and death? 
yes. And I will be perfectly honest with you, Catherine, so I hope you'll understand. I grew up in this house. When I was about four years old, my mother told me about the soot man. The soot man? He's trapped in the fireplace, you see. He can only move around the house if it's dirty. So mother was insistent my sister and I keep the house clean at all times. Sometimes, harshly. And the soot man is some kind of monster? Something like that, yes. When my mother passed away, my sister got lazy, became messy, and the soot man got her. Now he wants me, but I won't let that happen. This is why the house is so cold. Fires create soot, which will float around the house, making it easier for the soot man to escape. And that's why I don't dare leave. What if the house gets dirty while I'm gone? And that's also why I clean the fireplaces myself. They're too dangerous, you see? Because of the soot man. Yes! You understand now why it's imperative the house remain clean and why I so desperately need your help? Please, Catherine. Please? Vic, I hear you, man. I hear you. Of course. Look, we're about to score big, okay? Well, have your money, Vic. You don't gotta worry. It's... Hello? Hello? What did he say? He said he's not worried. But we should be. You gotta find where she keeps the money quick, Cat. It's been weeks and we're running out of time. I'm trying, but it's hard. You don't know what she's like. I'm losing my mind. Well, you have to make her trust you. Mrs. Calloway doesn't trust anyone because she's crazy. Just today, she described in graphic detail how the soot man dragged her sister into the fireplace. She heard the screams echoing through the house. Still hears them today. Rumor is she killed her mother and sister so she could keep the house and the money all to herself. Well, that's comforting. Well, that's why nobody will work for her. They're scared. Honestly, so am I. I'm not going back. You are going back, and you're sticking to the plan. Keep searching. You'll find where the money's hidden. It's freezing in there, Manny. She goes ballistic over a single speck of dust. The soot man this, the soot man that. I can't stand it anymore. I'm tired of going from town to town, constantly being told what to do and for what. To pay off your stupid debts. They're your debts, too. You stood right next to me when I made those bets. Don't you forget it. Can't we just... you know? Then we can take our time searching the house and leave town before anyone finds her. We're not doing that. No matter how much of a nightmare your crazy boss is. You find where she hides her valuables and do it fast. Then we'll make our move. We're out of beer. Honestly, Catherine, are you trying to get me killed? Look at this dust. You might as well invite the soot man in for tea. Hmm. I'm doing the best I can, Miss Calloway. You have to do better. Much better. 
Who knows when my leg will be fully healed? So until that moment comes, you need to be as diligent as I am. How many times do I have to tell you that? Mother always said, good girls keep a clean house. You know what this is? Laziness. The kind of laziness that got my sister killed. Is that what you want to happen? You want the house to fall into disarray so the soot man can get us both? There is no soot man. The people in town are right. You know what you are? You are a crazy old bitch living in a fantasy land. There is no monster in your fireplace. It was a sick lie your mother told you to keep your room clean and now it is a sick lie you tell yourself to cover up for what you did. I'm done playing nice. You're gonna tell me where you hide all your money right now. Or what? Or a broken leg will be the least of your problems. <laughs> you think I'm afraid of you? After what I've seen. You're just an angry little girl with no prospects. A loser consigned to clean up after people like me for the rest of your life. You know nothing of the world and the dark things in it. And pray you never find out. Like I did. You're fired, Catherine. And I'm calling the police. Maybe you can do a better job keeping a jail cell clean. What did you do? I had to. She was going to call the police. Damn it, Cat. You were supposed to stick to the plan. The plan never involved us going to prison. Okay. Okay. Well, we know she doesn't have any visitors. <sighs> Except for the doctor. You'll be here tomorrow morning to check out her leg. That gives us all night to search the house. I mean, tear it apart. Find her goddamn money. And the body? Take it with us, I guess. Bury it somewhere. Damn it. Being a thief is one thing. What's done is done. Let's get to it. We don't have much time. What a surprise. More worthless junk. What are you looking at? This is your fault, you know. You could have had the life I want. Traveling the world, fancy hotels, first class all the way. Instead, you let your mother fill your head with that soot man garbage. Made you a prisoner in your own home, letting the world pass you by. And you called me a loser. So, where did you hide it all? Guess what I found? A key! You started a fire? Of course. You weren't kidding. It's freezing in here. You found a key? To what? Uh, don't know yet. Do you have to make such a mess? What are you, on the clock? If you haven't noticed, your boss is in the study with a knife in her back. Like a freaking game of Clue. Why are you just standing there? Are you going to help me search, or would you rather be arrested for murder? Or worse, have to answer to Vic? Hmm. What the hell?
Ugh. I cleaned every inch of your stupid house. Where did you hide your money? And the first rule you must follow is no fires. In fact, stay away from the fireplaces altogether. Mrs. Calloway. I found it. Manny, where are you? Manny? Manny, where are you? Manny, are you up here? Manny, where are you? Manny? You like dirt, huh? Well, unless you want to smell springtime fresh, you better back off. the life I have always deserved. This house and all the filth in it is all yours.
Here it is, our finest suite. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. <sighs> I'm sure I will be. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. Yep, a working fireplace, not just for show. Have a great night. You're fine. Get a grip. It's just a fireplace. You're far away from that house, and any of the crazy sh- Until next time, try to enjoy the daylight. <laughs> <laughs>